We're going to look at the format of a personal business letter in block style format. And we're going to be typing a letter using Microsoft Word for this project. A letter written by someone, uh, by an individual to deal with business of a personal nature. So that's what a personal business letter is. A letter written by an individual to deal with business of a personal nature. All parts of our letter that we're going to type are going to begin at the left hand margin. So we will not be indenting any of the paragraphs. First part of our return is our return address. This consists of a line for the, for the street address, one for the city, state, and zip code. And we will start two inches from the top edge, which we see there on the left hand side uh, in the box in red. On the right hand side, an example of our return address, which is the first thing uh, on our personal business letter in block style. And you can see an example of the address right there. And at the bottom, of course, on the, uh, of the address, you're going to put the month, day, and the year of the, uh, in the line below the city, state, and zip code. So 230 Glendale Court, Brooklyn, New York. There's a zip code. And then February 15th, 2000 and whatever it is, 2020 right now. The next part of our personal business letter in block style, uh, uh, it says, uh, take note that each time the year is indicated uh, with 2-0, replace it with the current year. All right, I just said that. All right. Uh, the next part is a the letter mailing address. Uh, you're going to key the first line of the letter mailing a delivery address, a double space below the date. So, so the double space, we're going to hit enter twice, and you can see on the PowerPoints here, the little red uh, two or pink colored two with the arrow down. That's a DS stands for double space. Uh, so our letter mailing address. This is where the letter is being mailed to. Now the person is being mailed to. So a personal title, whether personal title, whether it be Miss, Mister, Mrs. or Ms. or even a professional title, maybe like a doctor. Or lieutenant or even senator or something like that is keyed before the receiver's name. So in this case, Ms. Julie Hutchinson uh, is the first thing. All right, so then uh, after you type the address where the letter is being mailed to, the letter mailing address, of course, the uh, city, the state zip code, our state abbreviation and zip code. Then we have a single space down, and then we have the salutation. So, dear Julie, dear Julie. So, key the salutation a single space below the mailing address. So, in this case, we're writing to Julie Hutchinson, and we're saying, dear Julie. Here is an example at a glance of our personal business letter that we'll be typing. Uh, ours should look very similar to this. In this red box, it says, hold the shift key down when you, re uh, when you return after the first li uh, two lines of the return address and the first lines of the letter, letter address to avoid having extra space between lines. So what if you just hit, if you type your address here, Glendale Court, and then hit enter, you're going to get a full single space uh, between this line and the next one. So if you hold the shift key down when you hit enter at the, after you type the word street or court or whatever it is, in this case it's court, hold the shift key down and then hit enter and then that next line will be a half space uh, instead of a full full space. So it looks better and you can definitely tell the difference. Uh, it looks better having those ad addresses closer together as opposed to a full uh, full single space apart. Right, and at the top here it says uh, you, uh, three returns down for the two inch top margin. So as soon as you open up Microsoft Word, hit enter three times and that should give you that two inch top margin that you have to have on your personal business letter. Now these are all very important things uh, in the proper formatting of your business letter. Let's continue. So we're going to begin the letter. Uh, which is the body of the message, a single space below the salutation. So, dear Julie, we hit enter, and we're still uh, left justified on the left margin. 
we're not going to hit a tab or anything to end in a paragraph so we're going to type our first paragraph of our message and then if we go on to a second paragraph we would hit enter again to type a second paragraph maybe a closing uh, you know closing up the letter there and then finally uh, we hit enter again and then we type the word sincerely for a complimentary closing so the complimentary close is a single space below the last line of the body of the copy so we've said whatever we need to say in our letter here and then we hit enter and then we typed it sincerely with no commas and look we have open punctuation in our letter here which means there's no commas or no colons all right so we're going to do the same thing for our project so dear julie and then sincerely no comma then look a two two here instead of a one so that means we're going to type we're going to hit enter twice to get a full double space and then we're going to key the name of the writer at double space below the complimentary close so in this case we hit type sincerely double space and the writer in this case is rebecca dunworthy so she's going to type her name here and in this case for your letter you would type your own name obviously and hopefully you are aware of the fact that in this space here below sincerely and above rebecca uh, right here when rebecca prints this out rebecca would get an ink pen and Rebecca would sign her name right here between sincerely and where she typed her main name so you would do the same thing and uh, obviously at the bottom there is an enclosure uh, you would go ahead and type this so this just says the name uh, may be preceded by a personal title to indicate how the female prefers to be addressed in a response um, if the male has a name that does not clearly indicate his gender then the title mister may precede his name if another document is attached to a letter, the word attachment is keyed at the left margin, a single space below the writer's name. So in this case, uh, Rebecca has typed a letter to Julie, and there is some sort of enclosure that Rebecca wants to enclose uh, or an add, so something that goes along with the subject of the letter, perhaps. Uh, maybe she's talking about the map of the school or something, the layout of the new school, and she wants to enclose a copy of the map. In that, in that case, that would be uh, enclosed in the letter. If it's not stapled to the letter, then it's an enclosure, right? If it was stapled uh, to the letter, then it would be it would say an, an attach, attachment right here, not enclosure. So if the additional document is not attached, the word enclosure is used. If it is attached, it's an attachment. And our margins for our personal business letter, and uh, in this case, uh, two inch top margin as we said standard side margins are both going to be one inch or the default so you don't have to change the margins you just have to remember to hit enter three times when you start typing your letter and at the bottom margin we need to leave at least one inch at the bottom so we don't want to you know change the margins on the side at all just hit enter three times to get our two inch top margin so that is how a personal business letter is laid out here again is another glance at what it looks like from a glance remember we're gonna hit enter three times it says three returns down that means they enter three times that'll give us our two inch top margin so we'll be starting right in here we'll type our address our street address we'll hit we'll hold the shift key down before we hit enter to complete the address in the city and state uh, and the return address could be you know your school perhaps if you're doing this from school or you know your house potentially if you're doing this at, from your home but your current at, uh, current date 2020 2021 whatever it would be uh, then the next part the letter mailing address again we hit shift key when we hit enter to bring those words closer together so it looks nice and fresh uh, single space here uh, and then we begin our salutation in this case open punctuation so dear julie open punctuation no commas or colons single space the body of the letter first paragraph enter second paragraph maybe a closing paragraph or statement and then an enter again all single space and then sincerely two spaces down type our name in this case rebecca did her name here and she did have an enclosure you may or may not have an enclosure if you don't have an enclosure or an attachment then you don't need to type that there right uh, and then uh, after rebecca has this all uh, typed out or, or finished typing it properly and properly format it, print it out get it off the printer 
and get her ink pen and sign her name of course left justified right here in this space so directly below the s and above the r is where the r should start but do not sign your name way over here i've seen students do that before you don't want to sign it way over here you're not putting your initials or anything okay you're signing your name and hopefully you know how to write in cursive you would sign your name in cursive to look more professional and if you don't have a cursive uh, signature then I highly recommend that you learn how to do that and, and so you want to do that it's kind of like part of being uh, grown up in society to have your own professional cursive signature okay thanks for watching